And we're back. <laughs> Perfect timing on that. Good job. What's up, fellas? Not much. What are you up to? Well, you know, trying to get rid of this screen now. There we go. Perfect. John, what are you doing? <sighs> What's that? What are you doing? I've been playing out in the garage. <laughs> playing, with, playing with my plug wires this evening. So I think we all have been. Yeah, I've overloaded myself. I, I need a break. Already. Yeah. Yeah. We've been we've been talking about this for a while. This, this isn't actually a podcast that we're recording tonight. This is actually an intervention with Bo. <laughs> Bo, you're we we love you. We yeah. we think you're a good person, but you're just overloading yourself. Yeah, it's okay. I'll be done in a few weeks. <laughs> Maybe. Just, I don't know. That's just until you add something else. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I, I we I did send you some pics so I can share what I've been working on. Uh I was I was able I was given permission to share some uh some pre-paint pictures of, of my a couple of projects that are hopefully and probably gonna lead to some more of the same kind of projects. So that's why I'm saying maybe for a couple weeks, you're here in a couple weeks, I'll be able to take a rest for another couple weeks and then it'll pick back up, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I just had a little bit of an inner panic. Yeah. Because I just realized that I'm not wearing a hat. So if I blind either one of you. No, nah, man, it's looking good. Not <laughs> looking good. It's a clear good shine on that deal. Yeah, yeah. Not too shiny, though. Not like you're trying too hard. Just I right. That's what I'm going yeah. for. It's like the, the I don't know. I like a Michael Chiklis look. That's that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah. I don't even know what it's that more is. More of a satin than anything. We're good. <laughs> so I went to Maybe. a car show this weekend. Let's hear about it. I went to the uh, Daryl Starberg Rod and Custom Car Show this weekend, and uh, got to walk around with uh, John's brother-in-law, and uh, had a great time. Enjoyed myself. Did you see any famous people that aren't annoying? Um, I don't, I don't know what her name is. It, I thought it was Hannah storm, but apparently it's Heather storm. I don't know. She was from uh like garage squad. Yeah. The X-Men were there. <laughs> <laughs> the X-Men were not in fact, oh, there. Okay. Oh, that was okay. false advertising. Right. Okay. No, uh, Richard Rawlings was out there and I was half tempted to go over and, and, and I don't know if you, and I know I've talked this over with, with you guys. Woo! Uh, right. Get you some of that. Um, I'm not a Richard Rawlings fan. I, I know at least one of the members of our, our group here is, is at least somewhat of a Richard Rawlings fan. I, I'm just not. Uh, he was there signing autographs. He had a really cool truck there. I've got some pictures of that I'll bring up here in just a bit. But uh, but no, I, I, he was there. Um, of course, the the Daryl Starbird show downstairs, you've got the Rockin' Billy Bash, which is mostly rat rods and stuff like that. Upstairs, you've got all your show cars um, and the Fine Nine and then the uh, – Go for the gold winner of the five fine nine, which uh not not trying to throw out any spoilers, but I, I kind of nailed that one. So hey, I caught a live feed of the burnout competition or whatever it was of an old I don't remember what kind of it was like a 50s Chevy truck, I think. I was wondering for a second if it was an EV. It was the quietest thing I've ever heard, and they were indoors, and I, I was like trying to listen. I didn't hear anything. It was weird. I turned it because of that. It wasn't loud enough. I get that. Yeah. That arena is uh, all volume carries at that arena. If you yell at somebody on the other side of the top floor, you're, they're going to hear you. Because for some reason, that building carries sound. If you're trying to have a conversation and they're having mini bike races going down the ramp, you're not going to be able to have that conversation. You could be on the complete other side of the building and it's still going to be loud. I don't know why. But there were a couple guys out there that, that I was kind of a fan of. 
and uh, we'll we'll get into that. Um, let's go ahead and kick it off. We'll put on some of these slides. One of the things that uh, that that I was kind of looking forward to was they were doing a uh, chop top on the floor. A shop, I believe, out of Texas called Murphos was doing a uh, chop top on this '52 Ford. This actually belongs to uh, the owner of Red Ball. And I wanted to get out there and see it. Jeez. Wow, that chopped snot out of it. <laughs> that is a substantial chop. That's not a minor chop. No. <clears throat> Looking at it from the front, pretty heavy. But they had all of their gear set up over there. They had the, the English wheel and the shears and, and everything like that so that they could actually get in there. The rear windshield, they actually maintained the factory rear windshield. They just leaned it down. Leaned. So they're actually building the metal around that as, as this picture is being taken. Hmm. How long did that take them? Um, they were still at it when I left. On This would be probably Saturday at about 3.30, 4 o'clock. And they were they were still they they had started I believe Friday night and they were they were still going strong when I left. Hmm. Do you know how many finish finished pictures? I don't as of yet. I am <clears throat> uh, I am going to send a text message and see if I can get some finished pictures because I I'm kind of curious how how it rounded out myself. Getting into some of the cars that are at the show. This was one of the fine nine contestants. Can you please guess the make and model of this truck? I'm no good at this. It's a GMC, though. John, what do you got? The 56. See, I would have assumed it was a 56, 57 Chevy or GMC pickup. Yeah. That is a 55 Dodge. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. kind of modified. It's harder to tell. Yeah. yeah. The bed makes it very unclear. Yeah. It threw me off. I really like the color, though. The The color's good. Now, you'll you'll notice a theme in colors this year, which is, which is kind of weird, but even I picked up on it. Um, the reason the bed throws you off is because the bed is actually, I believe, a 57 Plymouth car. Yeah. Like a station wagon. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. What was wrong with the bed? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean. No, I, I, I'm just saying, like, the reason that uh, John said that the bed was throwing him off. I yeah. said the reason the bed. Uh, what was wrong with the factory bed? As awesome as that truck is, that bed clearly didn't come on it. You know what I mean? That was. Yeah. That's the first thing I noticed. Like, oh, it's a bed off something else. They turn a car into a bed or something weird. Which, I mean, I'm not. It's awesome. That truck's amazing. It's great. But I don't know. It is directly where where some people's eyes will go as far as that body line. All right. Anyway. I wonder how much. Dip, yeah. Carry on. <laughs> The 39 Ford, I just want somebody to bring flames back. That's all I want. That's probably a bit much on the flames, but I believe. I like it. I'd, I'd cruise it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. I didn't get any information on this car whatsoever. I just like the wheels and I like the grill. This was one of the fine nine contestants. This was, uh, they keep all of those towards the center. And this is kind of as I was walking through the door. There we go. I was going to say, Bo would, Bo would really like this one. That's a pretty car. I don't know how you... Big old wheels. That's what I was looking at was the lip on the wheel. Yep. The lip on the wheel is pretty crazy. 
I say that. I looked at Brady's wheels earlier today, and they are. Are they not the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen? (laughs) I mean, it's one thing. It's one thing to see pictures of them or videos. It's another thing to to see that wheel in person. It is ridiculous. To to see the a wheel like this with a tire on it is is like you said it's it's really cool. You look at it and you you walk right past it. But yeah, looking at looking at Brady's wheels with no tire on them whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. What, what size are those wheels? Are they twenty six? Are they sixes or eights? Twenty sixes by fifteens. Sixteen and a half. Twenty eight or twenty six by six. They are redonkulous. <laughs> they are. I took huge. a picture of them last time I was at a shop, and I had to delete it because the picture did no justice to how crazy that wheel looks. That's because your phone won't get that big. I guess. But, yeah, a, a, a wheel like that on the back of even a even a car like this, like I wish people understood how much work goes into making that happen because that has to be a narrowed rear end that has to be – at least mini tubs. That's a hatchback car. So I think it's that, perfect. There, there's a lot of work going on under the under the surface of that. Got that one just for John, so he can put some 26s on it. That would look nice with 26s. <laughs> that's the weird thing. So our buddy that we're talking about with the 26 by 16 and a half, so that's that's going on a lifted Tahoe. This is also our buddy that used to always have 14-inch wires on whatever he bought. That was his thing. S10, 14-inch wires. 1982 Lincoln Continental, 14-inch wires. 94 Cadillac DeVille, 14-inch <laughs> wires. Yep. And now he's like opposite, lifted, huge wheels. I don't know. Anyway, sorry. Got that, there was a lot going on on that. We'll we'll get into that here in a minute. Uh, um. This car, I walked through the door, instantly fell in love with this car. This was one of the Fine 9 contestants. Um, It's got to be a 53 or 54 Chevy. Um, You'll notice as I work my way through through these pictures, that gold color was the dominant color at this car show. Even that first truck had a ton of gold in it. It did. And that that's there were there were a lot of a lot of cars that carried that gold tone, but there were more more than a few that had just straight up gold. So you're gonna let me paint the roof of the Fairlane Pagan Gold now? Oh with lace. Only, only if you'll do it somewhat like this because I want some lace. Yeah, I'm not guaranteeing. I don't necessarily that. need the pattern. Ta- someone very talented did that roof. <laughs> someone very talented. A lot of patterns. That's a lot of taping off. That's a lot of patience. That's a lot of hours. Yeah. I'll give it a shot though. <laughs> now I'm not asking you to do the dash to match the lace paint job on the top. I feel like we need but to. But it is fascinating that he did that. But yeah, I'm I'm totally down for pagan gold. They, I don't know if this is pagan gold, but I feel like it's either what is it, pagan or Aztec? Yeah. Aztec warrior. <laughs> Couple mini That's trucks right. made a wrong turn, wound up in there. This is about a 84, 85 land runner. Land uh Forerunner, I don't know what's wrong with me today. You had a stroke there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the matching skateboard. It's kind of all right. I I like these trucks. They're fun to look at. Yeah. The BMX on the roof is is what is coming back around. I, I know one of our friends is starting to get into this. That's apparently a thing. I just like the crazy paint. I like the crazy paint too. Nice little Ford Ranger sitting on the deck. Don't read the badge because the badge says bitch. 
<laughs> I'm not <laughs> editing that out. It's fine. I I wouldn't expect you to. Okay. <laughs> I thought that's what it said. <laughs> Apparently that is the name of this truck. A uh, couple, one, one of my friends texted me and said, "Hey, you need to go check out this truck." I went and checked it out. It is pretty cool. Um, had to get a shot of something for Bo. <laughs> now, Steeda, what is Steeda? Is it an aftermarket company? Is it like a Celine? Like, is it? I mean, I've never owned any bought anything from Steeda. I'm a drag light nitrous kit kind of guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was a cool looking car though. Nice little uh, Fox body Mustang. Yeah, man. Once again, something I think we all like to look at. Ain't none of us riding that deal. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure that's not right. a rider. That's, that's not something they jump on and go enjoy, but no, I'm pretty sure I weigh more than that bike. Well, just Pretty to give cool, you a, a point of reference on this, that's that's in the back of a Volkswagen microbus style truck. Awesome. Oh, off subject, real quick. I'm building. A, I'm building a Beetle. Not for me. Not for me. For my wife. A Beetle. Yep, she wants a Beetle. So we're gonna do one here pretty soon. Probably the next year or so. She want it like lowered and cool, or she wants yeah, like bolts rod style. Oh, I'm on board. Now, right, nice little suburban. I say little it is a nice big suburban. The reason I wanted to uh, take a picture of this one is because I thought it was really funny. Because. Yeah. Nice. Sorry, folks. Park's closed. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you didn't read the notice. The moose out front should have told you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Sorry, folks. By the way, that place was packed and cramped, and I just wanted to get a picture of a uh, flathead with a supercharger on it. Very cool. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> I wonder what the flow numbers are on those heads. <laughs> I was wondering what uh what kind of coating they use for those headers. That's what I was thinking. That's a good question. Yeah. I wonder if it's ever even been fired up because, you know, Flatheads normally aren't <laughs> known for resilience. <laughs> Looks awesome, though. Does look awesome. Does it's it bother cool. anybody else that the paint on the blower and the, the horrible. doesn't match the... <laughs> huh? Yeah. It looks like they kind of tried to tie it in with the yellow around the uh, numbers on the door. But, man, why not just go ahead and get it right? Well, and the yellow pinstripe on the wheels. Okay. Truth. I see I see that now. Okay. Still, I, I probably wouldn't have went that shade. I, I know we sound judgy. I'm not being judgy. That that's um these cars are awesome. I just I like to point out what hits my brain first, I guess. You know, it's it's funny. I was talking to the guys this weekend and uh I, I'm I'm notorious for as I'm walking around a car show, I'm picking a car completely apart. Um <laughs> One of the things I said was, man, I'd hate to bring my car up here and have someone like me pick my car apart. And, and I, I think you, get, you just have to accept that. You know, if you're in a car show, your car's going to get picked apart. That's all there is to it. You're so literally I, taking I, it there to get judged. Yeah. Exactly. So be prepared. Exactly. That's I, why a lot I, of people think, don't, that's why a lot of people leave and they don't hang out by their cars. So they don't want to see people's reactions if they don't like it. <laughs> See, and that's what I would have to do. I'd have to just walk away. Me too, because I try to defend everything. I'd have to leave. I'll say this, though. I, I can vouch for John. John doesn't do that. When, when we were when we were at uh, Power Tour, like he stuck right there by the car the entire time. 
That's where the shade and the cooler were at. <laughs> if you had to put the shade and the cooler across the parking lot, that's where I'd have stayed. True. True. We kind of proved that. Um, so this is Josh Fleetwood's car. Uh, Fleetwood, I've known him for a couple of years. I say a couple of years, like a decade. And uh, like he's been slowly piecing this truck together, uh, finding the right wheels, finding the right way that he wanted this truck to look. I think he nailed it. I think it's awesome. The, the wheels are a custom build for him. So I think he, uh, I think he nailed that one. Very clean truck. The interior is every bit as nice too. This was one of the, I believe, yeah, this is one of the fine nine contestants. Uh, old Fire Dome Hemi, 32 Ford. Nice, simple, clean, eight carburetors. It's got to be horrible to tune. Or six carburetors. Man, look at the fatties on the back. I think it probably hooks on a frozen <laughs> car. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just saying, you can't drive that. I, had, I I don't think those old Fire Dome Hemis were known for altogether too much horsepower. Well, no, but you like you couldn't drive it down the street at all without just rocks are going everywhere. You got a point. You can't take that car around the block and it come back that nice. That is true. Bridge out. This guy. Love it. So this guy was allowing kids to come up and sit in the car, take pictures, whatever they wanted to do. This is, of course, the the General Lee from, or at least a, a clone of the General Lee from the Dukes of Hazard show. My complaint with this car, and I, I realize that my complaint is shallow and stupid. My complaint with this car is that he was allowing kids to come up and sit in the car, which there's no problem with that. I completely understand. But he, he was opening the door to let him get in and take pictures. The oh, doors aren't yeah. supposed to open. I, th I thought your complaint was going to be that he didn't let you sit in it and take a picture. Uh, I think he would have. Oh, okay. If he if I was there and he said, yeah, get in, I would have went through the window. Yeah. <laughs> I would have slid <laughs> in like a I fat tried anyway. <clears throat> yeah, I would something. You shut that hood. I'm about to slide across that deal. You know what this car needs? <laughs> oh, 500 uh, pounds of pudding uh, in the trunk. Yeah. Snack pack form. 250 vanilla, 250 chocolate. What sticker across the windshield going to say? Hello. Pimonade easy. Proof's in the pudding. <laughs> That's what it needs to say. One of these days, I will have my 82 Cadillac Eldorado two-door <laughs> with 500 pounds of pudding in the trunk. I've said this for years. With those <laughs> stickers and everything. It's going to happen. I will be there Brown. when it does. That Brown, is a perfect. nice car. I had to think I like sweet. It. Very nice car. And it is also one of the well, – it was one of the fine nine contestants as well. Um. That, that car was just solid all the way around. And and <laughs> Shane was walking around with me, and Shane actually pointed out there's a Cadillac emblem on every stanchion going around that display. Yeah. He said, that guy's got more in emblems than I have in most of my cars. <laughs> I yeah. believe Shane, too. <laughs> hey, line. <laughs> this one right here. I have several pictures of it because I believed that it was going to be the one that won the fine nine competition, which was the go for the gold competition. This car is immaculate. There there's, I, I challenge anyone to find a flaw in this car and Shane did find one flaw, but I'm not going to point it out because I, I have more respect than that. This is a 49 Buick. They actually shaved the headlights on this car. 
like everything about this car is custom. There's a two inch section gone out of the middle. The top has been slightly chopped by about an inch. Um, and anybody who's seen one of those cars can tell you that they're extremely difficult to chop. Tail lights sunk down into the rear fenders. Wow. Just smooth all the way down. Yeah, very interior, cool. Interior was right on. When you look at it from this angle, the shaved headlights kind of seem a little messed up. But there were some headlights in behind the grill. It does look weird with no headlights. Throws me off. I bet you that color is amazing in person. It was about three miles deep. Um, and again, just, just difficult to find any type of flaw. He had these two displays. One is the car in actual bare metal. The other is uh, a diagram showing everything that was done to the car. And uh, just, just crazy display, crazy quality, just a well done car. And it actually did. I found out about 30 minutes ago. It actually did win the uh, go for the gold. So that would be your uh, grand champion as it would be from the Starbird show. Bo? Yeah, that's, that's my car. Dibs. <laughs> Took this picture specifically for you. Thank you. I Just a... People don't realize how, if you've never seen one of these in person, the top of that car is like waist high to me. They're so sh short. It's 40 inches, isn't it? It's so wide. and so I mean, they're, they're so cool, man. I, I love that car. The GT40 designation was the designation of height. It was no more than 40 inches tall. Yeah, well. I don't know, but I ain't again, being just a, it's I think it's almost weird seeing him when you see him in in person. How it's just I don't know. Can't explain. <laughs> it. I I told the guys I was walking around with uh, Alan and Shane at this point, and I told both of them I said, "Oh, I can get in it. I I can't get out of it. It would be the least graceful thing they'd seen all day." Once again, Richard Rawlings was there. This is the truck that they have dubbed the Texas Skidmark. Solid truck. Floor pan lifts up in the bed so that you can see all the rear suspension. Curry 9-inch, 4 link, the whole 9 yards. Did you say Texas Skidmark? Yep. Okay. They 4 link that truck? Say what? They 4 link that truck? I believe so. Why would you do that? Well, because if you're going to run airbags, two link is not exactly the way to go. You run into constant geometry issues. Mm. Everybody knows four links where it's at. <laughs> Granted, that truck would have been a two link from the factory, so it uh, it would have still been a link system in the back. That's the most horrible picture of the interior because I couldn't get any other pictures because it's crowded in there and the windows. The seats and down. console look really weird. The truck oh, works wow. really well together. Almost you think looks... Sue did? You think Sue did those seats? No. So you come here, ass monkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell! Whoa! Then you get into some of the older stuff, the uh, Jack Walker Legends section. Of course, this is one of Starbird's cars.
This car right here is uh, the Grapevine car. This is uh, an, an old Larry Watson car. I've seen this in magazines several times. Never seen it in person. I don't know if this is a clone or if this is the actual car. But uh, regardless, really cool to look at. It's weird seeing some of the modifications that they did back at that time because the scoops and the rear fenders, I wouldn't have seen coming. There's a small scoop in the front fender right in front of the tire as well. Are they functional scoops? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. It, it's just one of those things where I looked at it and I was like, huh, that's weird. The guy wasn't there so I could ask him. This is an old Barris car. Uh, I was walking around for a while with uh, my buddy Chris. And he's like, man, I hate this car. And I was like, man, it doesn't matter if you hate this car or not. This car is a piece of history. And this would have, would have been one of the earlier Barris cars. Is it my thing? Probably not. Is it still cool? I would think so. This car was one of the Alexander Brothers cars. Um, this car also has some pretty heavy history to it. Uh, you can't see it in this picture, and I didn't get a good enough picture so that you can see it. There's a small, like, mail slot scoop on the passenger side of this hood. I have no idea why it's there. But it was another one of those things that jumped out to me, like, wow, I can't, can't believe they put a scoop in the hood. They also Frenched both of the antennas into the door, which kind of threw me off because usually you do that in the fender. Okay. Tail lights, real oddball, little plexiglass strips that wrapped around. Who doesn't like a 49 Merc? Look at that. Like that color a lot too. That color was was pretty heavy around there as well. Oh. Mm -hmm. Then you start getting into some of the rock and billy bash, some of the stuff that's downstairs. I, I, I don't know what this car is. It's had enough work done to it that I can't identify positively what it is. Almost seems like it's got 55 Chevy rear fenders grafted on the top of the body line. I got nothing. Yeah, I don't know. Don't get me lying about it. I took a picture of this car, not because of uh, the car itself which is still pretty darn cool. But that roof is a little more intricate than I would want to go. That had to have been a pain to shoot. Yeah. Not near as bad as the other one, though. Woo, look at that. Yeah. That one I figured would appeal to both of you guys. Yeah, I like that. I'd leave it alone. I'd just drive it. Yeah, it looks like the guy's already done. Yeah. <laughs> Throw a set of wheels and set of airbags on it. You're good. Hmm. This Great. one's just for John. Traditional. International truck. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I'd have got better pictures of it because they basically use the front fenders on the back. Really? Just, uh, shave the headlights. It is a four door cab. And the bed was off of some type of car that they just grafted the fenders onto. Huh? There we go. Maybe I do need a gasser. I think you need to make the fair lane a gasser. <laughs> Maybe I do need a gasser. Maybe make a fair lane a gasser. Not there you that. go. A uh, fair lane. Yeah, Move not that this one. one. Just, let's just drive it for now. This truck right here is actually off of a uh, YouTube channel called Hardcore Fab. Um, he actually took this truck to SEMA 
This is basically a, a, a rat rod tow truck. It is called Hookers and Blow. Makes sense. It's not that was enough for me. To, name. That was enough to make me want to drive it already. Grumpy's toy, Grumpy's toy style Camaro. The old grump lump. The old grump lump on the hood. Another car that I thought would appeal to both of you guys. Oh, yeah. Like a 64 Buick Skylark, something like that. I don't even know if they had Skylarks back then. Good looking boat. All right. Well, now. Is this one running for the 592? No, it what was did not. You, before we get out of the car show, what, what did you eat there? I didn't eat anything like normally that's the reason I go to the starboard car show is because I want to, uh, I, I, I walk used to be, look at cars and snack on the fair food. Yeah. Snack on the fair food. And they had a Frito chili pie booth that I was just dying to get back to. And, uh, part of my deal with my wife is I went to the car show by myself. And, uh, when I got back home, I had to take her out to dinner. So I didn't want to eat anything while I was there. Yep. But no, it, it was a uh, <clears throat> good show. I uh, I enjoyed it. Got to talk to some people I hadn't talked to in a while. How they many cars have, were there? 1,200-ish. I, uh, I did get a chance to sit down and talk to one of the guys who uh, organizes that show, who works on that show. And uh, he said it was it was a, a rough year. He said because there was about three hundred cars that showed up that they didn't expect to show up. Apparently they uh, they overbooked this year, so there were there were some cars that didn't wind up making it into the show that uh, made the drive came to the show. I, I can only imagine that the logistics on a car show of that size you you would have to invite more people than you would actually want there because you're, you're trying to, trying to fill the floor. You're trying to, trying to keep the show going. But, uh, I always wondered what would happen if everybody who committed to the show actually made it to the show. Apparently that's what they experienced this year. They were mildly overbooked. Sorry about that. I had to plug my laptop in. Yeah, you're fine. I'm just glad you muted it so you could pass gas. <laughs> yeah, no, I won't mute it for that. <laughs> so, Bo, let's talk about what you've been working on. We we do have approval. Am I correct? Yeah, I got approval. Um, so one of the current projects I got myself involved in is, um, you know, one of one of our really good friends. One of our best friends is a monster truck driver. Um, and one of the promoters that he's buddies with and, and does shows for as uh, building his own bodies now. And basically they asked me about painting some bodies. So I can't share the colors, but I can share the bodies unpainted. This is right now. I'm just prepping them. They come in jail coat, a local guy here, brothers racing builds the bodies. Um, Devin's being so kind to let me use his shop to do this stuff right now because I don't have anywhere with enough space to do this project. Uh, but uh, this is a, the name of the truck is T-Rex, um, and there's going to be a few of them. As you can see, there's two bodies here. This one's actually going to be uh, – these two are going to be the same color. They're going to the same driver or same team. Uh, Fro, I'll tell you who those people are later. You'll be pretty stoked. Because they're known people. Um, Absolutely tickled already. Yeah. So we got these two, and then we got a couple more bodies. I think we're probably going to get to, uh, I say, you know, I'm going to get to paint those also. So as soon as I get off my full time job every day, I go straight to Devin's and I sand until my fingers bleed. 
Uh, like I said, <laughs> they're in jail coat. The jail coat's got some texture. Huh? Is that figurative or literal? Oh, literal. It's literally. So the thing <laughs> is, um, like I said, these are in gel coat. The gel coat has some texture to it. It's not perfectly smooth. Um, so in order for me, I, I'm probably overdoing it, to be honest with you. John and I have talked about this. Our buddy Mike's helping me prep these bodies. Um, and we know we're probably doing too much prep. We're making them too nice for a monster truck body, right? They're they're just they're gonna get beat up, but I can't. Uh, it's it's a personal thing. I can't send it out with them being textured and and not looking good, right? So I mean, what they do with them after that's fine. Um, just pay me for it before you do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, so I'm getting you know I'm, I'm sanding them down. I'm hitting them with three twenty. On this particular body, a lot of it is hand sanding. I can't use a DA. You know, I can only use a DA on so much of it. And I have a little three inch DA that I can use. I get on another, but a lot of this sanding around all those, all the teeth and around the little bumps on the body. And it's a, uh, it takes time, man. It, take, it takes a while, but you know, hit it with 320 and I'll get it with a good big old fat coat of sealer and then I'll put the colors on it and a couple coats of clear and they'll be good. But the uh, plan is to have this first body. It's, it's pretty much ready to go now. Um, I'll, hopefully paint it next weekend. And then the other body I'm going to start working on it tomorrow. Uh, and it, hopefully it'll be ready by the following weekend. So um, I'll be able to share pictures after they, um, after they, they release it or whatever, you know what I mean? It's a lot of work, but I'm pretty stoked about it. Never painted a monster truck before. <laughs> it's definitely got its uh this picture it doesn't have the, the roof on it obviously but yeah i still have a plan i'm gonna put that thing on like a hat and run across the road with it <laughs> anyway so that's been my big secret project i put the seracoding on hold to do this plus it's been too cold anyway Cerakote. I still got to do some headers. I'm going to do those Tuesday. It's going to be real nice Tuesday. So just that, knock that out real quick and get back on the monster trucks. And in the meantime, I've been working on this pile back here. It's, uh, it's about ready to go also. So full-time job, ready. monster truck. Huh? We need it ready so we can do some filming. Oh, I know. But so right now it's full-time job. As soon as I'm done there, monster truck. Then I come home to be with my family for an hour and a half, two hours. And I come out in the garage and I'm out here till two or three in the morning. And then I'm up at 6 45, 7. You need some sleep, man. Uh, I was going to, I was going to mention earlier at the beginning of the show, if y'all see me blinking a lot or a long blink, it's because my eyes are burning. So, <laughs> no, I'm not under the influence. I'm just tired. You could also be asleep, so let us know. I might fall asleep. I'll, I'll, I'll flinch. <laughs> not just out of the blue, then you know I was asleep. Oh, goodness. John, well, I have been meter on, huh? Yeah. What's you that? You, I said you had to kick the heater on, huh? I did. You scan the marketplace right now? Starting to get chilly. No, I was uh, scanning for dates on circuit. I oh, yeah. Trying to figure out how many minutes I have to get this car done. You know, that's uh, that's one of the two things that we kind of need to cover tonight. Um, both of you guys tried to sign up for Rocky Mountain Race Week. How did that go? We're on the wait list. <laughs> for sure on the wait list. <laughs> I think we're pretty early on the wait list, though. I think oh, we're going to get in. Yeah, I think we're going to get out. I'm super confident. You know, they talked a big game about how you got to have uh, uh, auto fill and everything's got to be so, bull crap. I couldn't even get the page to load. So like, what I happened to us? So John and I were on the phone whenever registration started. <laughs> we were like talking and giggling. Like, go, go, you know. Uh, so what happened to us happened to a lot of people. As soon as we could register, you hit buy ticket. And then it went to an error on the screen. Then you go back and refresh and then you hit buy ticket again. And then it's sold out. 
Yeah. Uh, I read somewhere where, it, and I don't know how true this is, but on one of the RMRWers, one of the Facebook pages, they said it sold out in literally a second. It yeah. Done. So, um, but I feel like the the uh, wait list, it waited a few minutes to pop up. And it popped up. I seen it pop up. Bam, hit it. And I and you did the same. So I feel yeah. like we we hit the wait list deal pretty good. I think I'm pretty I think I'm pretty early in on the wait list. But yeah, I, I wish there was numbers. There's not numbers on it this year. Yeah, last year or years past there have been numbers you could tell yeah. on your ticket what how far down you were. Yeah. I'd like to think we're both in the top one hundred and allegedly they take they usually make it through a hundred cars. Yeah. Oh, uh, so. I'm I'm we're we're in. I'm yeah. just saying we're in. Right I'm just now. I'm just counting it as a done deal. I've already yeah. sent the, we've already got our calendars blocked off at work and the whole nine yep. yards. Uh, the circuit is the 19th and 20th and 21st, right? Check the box. 19th, 20th, and 21st. How far wow. away is that? How many weeks? He was yeah. out uh, today. Mike was out scouting the scouting the route and looking for. Uh, I think he he posted pictures of all the the checkpoints. It's like I eight think. weeks. Eight weeks. Two. Yeah. It's not a really, set of tires too. It's a very low number. Tires aren't as bad this year as they have been. I think I'm just going on a drag radial this this season. Do it. I don't think I'm be swapping around slicks and stuff. I'm not. I'm. I'm gonna bring them just in case. No. Well. I don't know. I'm probably going to go drag radials and call it good. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to throw drag radials on what I got, but I'll take my slicks too, just in case something. It'd have to be a happens. pretty bad track prep to. I know. You never know. Swap, swap over to slicks. I got 80 few, 84 cubic feet of space in the back of this bad, bad girl. I got yeah. room. Yeah. Well, I mean, the sick week winter was on radials. Am I correct? Yeah. 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 You guys got no reason but, to change. Hey, but those were radial prepped tracks. <laughs> very, very much so. Radial prep tracks and pretty, pretty I solid. Mean, that, car parts only, into. that car only makes about 2,400 horsepower more than what my car makes. So we're good. Right. <laughs> Should be fine. <laughs> But no, Narx was uh, posting up today on Facebook. Uh, he's looking for some of the scavenger hunt stuff and uh, posting up. The, the whole point of, of these drag and drive events, aside from the racing, is is to have fun, you know? And a lot of these, like the circuit, he he wants to do scavenger hunt stuff. He wants to, uh, you got to take a picture of yourself in a bathtub, stuff like that. Bonus points if it's in front of somebody's house or something. We're going to so, make all this happen. <laughs> are, you co hey, are you co-driving? Am I co-driving? Yeah. yeah so are you going to be with me or what? Uh, yeah, I, th I think uh, John is taking Pedro. Okay. No, Pedro's not I going. Got, I got nobody. We'll get you somebody. You got somebody. You got your choice of all our knucklehead friends that'll go with you. Other than us two. All I can John, say is John it's solo. Good. John Solo. <laughs> uh, all I'm saying is, if Jimmy goes with you, I want to be. I want you to turn your GoPro on as soon as you leave. I want to hear what that conversation is like. <laughs> I it's not like that can that can't be aired or anything. Well, no, I just want it for for posterity for for my <laughs> own sake. You wouldn't be able to hear it. <laughs> There's no, there's no hearing anything in that car. Bo's got some lapel mics. It'll be fine. I do. You'd have to put it in your mouth. <laughs> That's what she said. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I don't know. On that note, we're going to Marketplace. Let's yeah, you can't say stuff like that around me. I'm 14. I'm excited that... Uh, so. I'm thinking if if the master plan comes together, I'll be able to hold 25 gallons of fuel by that time yeah. you know, with my little five-gallon jerry can that I keep in the trunk as well. I don't think I'll have to take the uh, the 55-gallon 
Not on the circuit. I don't think go behind. Because it's uh, I think I can make it without. I think you can too. I'm excited. Yeah. And even if you don't, it'll be fine. We'll make it work. Yeah. That was one of the that was one of the worst parts about the long drives on race week was not being able to find fuel. Yeah. Yeah, I'm stoked, man. I, I'm it's stoked that the circuit's good. coming up. It, it looks like it's gonna be a good time. Looks like Narks is really he's got a good route planned out, it looks like. Yeah. Fun stuff to see. I mean, not only that, but like the the night before or whatever, the get together, the dinner, and the hanging out, and um, yeah, he does it like a party. Yeah, man, it, I, I'm 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 very very excited about the whole thing, and then I'm, I'm pretty stoked about you know the, the race we go, which we kind of had that planned. I mean, we had talked previously about it. here's what we're gonna do. Yeah, not sure what's going on. Let's just get on the wait list, and then when we were on the phone, you're like, you're gonna try to get in on this deal. I'm like, yeah, I think so. Like <laughs> my whole plan yeah. changed. I want in right now. Yeah, but, um, I did the same thing. I was like, I'm, <laughs> I'm doing it. I don't even yeah. care. It went from a solid plan, like we're doing the wait list, to no, let's just let's just see if we can get in here. Yeah. I'm glad we did it like that because I think that put us higher up. You know, going back to what we've already discussed, I think it put us high up on the list. So, yeah, on the wait list. I'm stoked about that. I'm still going no matter what. It'll be fine. Yeah, I'm in. Fine. I'm going anyway. No matter. Yeah. Like I said no matter what, I'll be there. Racing or not. You got a cool hot rod like that, you might as well. We'll see. We'll see. We'll find some find some racing to do there. I'm kind of excited because all the little tracks around have started put little tracks. All the tracks have started putting out their uh, schedule. Yeah. And we're, we're like, it's February and stuff by the end of March. It's go to test and tunes, go do, yeah. go do things. I'm excited. Yeah, and we're, we're halfway through. We're over halfway through March or February right now. Yeah, we're I mean, like five, a couple weeks, four or five weeks away from the first test and tune night. Yeah, so. I will be ready for that. I'm hoping to be ready next week. To be honest with you, we got some. I don't see some any reason why it shouldn't be. We got some videos. Yeah. Film. Yeah, I could. Uh, I could go at any point and just put a little fuel in this thing and go rip around, but uh I could too. That's where I'm at. I don't I haven't done anything to the rear suspension, so I'd still I, be smacking them shocks with the housing every time I try to go somewhere. Yeah. I don't necessarily need the purge. I just like having it. <laughs> it looks cool. It looks cool. It serves a kind of a purpose, but Whatever, I'll just bang it through the motor if I really need to. It'll be all right. I'm doing some interior work, but I am hoping to be ready for uh, the first Friday cruise over in Commerce, the April. Man, I'm, April still looking, Friday. I'm still looking for four bucket seats that match. Kirky has them. I don't, yeah. I want something to come. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for like a stock seat out of something. like. Yeah. I really like the Mustang seats that are in it now. It's just mine are broke down and not comfortable. I well, you know me. Those deals. I am no sold Fusion. on the Ford huh? Fusion seats. Oh, yeah. Sold you on did. the Ford Fusion seats. Yeah, you did good. They're a good seat. Yeah. And it's comfortable. And, and it's driving. the kind of material that's going to last a long time, too. It is, and, and it almost just—it's almost a retro style seat. The 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 tuck and roll style that they did back did in fourteen makes it look like a, a an older style interior, but with a a newer style seat. I just need to go to LKQ in Tulsa. Oh let no, there's know. one in Joplin now, isn't there? Let let me know oh, when, you're not, when you're not sanding. Or or Saracoten, or working on your car, or at work. Let me know, and we'll we'll go. Yeah, or family <laughs> manning. I do that a lot. Oh uh, yeah, family manning. I forgot about that. You got to do the family. Well, that's too. my favorite. That's my favorite. It's family manning, believe it or not. But luckily, everybody's been super supportive still so far. Yeah, that's so a far. Good thing. 
Shoo, buddy. Let's get into the marketplace stuff. I have four pictures of this particular rig. I would like you guys to guess the price. Eleven mm. three. Dude, come on. Mute him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was gonna say thirty five hundred to oh. see what your action was, but that's that's not that wouldn't be good. With that kind of interior, you're gonna go that pristine. That price. That sleeper is deceivingly small. Oh yeah, they're not. They're not built for comfort, man. That's got a good set. It depends on what's under the cab. The Alcoas are only <laughs> on the front. Remember that. Yeah, the backs are just like painted steelies, aren't they? Yes, they are. That makes it a little different. It's a sweet looking truck, though. I I did this specifically for you, John. I know I know you would probably buy this and turn it into a ramp truck. Yeah, I could ramp truck that. <laughs> Man, I'm not sure how much that thing, how much they want for that deal. Depends on I the motor. Depends on the motor and whatnot. That's sure. 1988 Kenworth K100, 350 Cummins, night speed transmission, 355 gears, spring ride, runs good. Drove it 1,200 miles from Virginia to Oklahoma, and no problems. Well, it's going to be a cool project. Change of plans is, is a truck that you'll need to hunt down all sorts of parts. It's a complete truck. The AC doesn't work. No silly trade offers will be acknowledged. There goes that plan. <laughs> Truck is available as long as it's posted. Reasonable offers only. Serious offers only, please. Nineteen thousand dollars. That's probably in the right ballpark, honestly. My twenty was twenty was where I was going to put it, not knowing what he had to say about the about the motor. I've literally never priced. I didn't know there was a. That, so I don't know. What. 350 Cummins. That would be a 5'9", correct? I don't know. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Where are you going with this? What's up? What's that? What do you mean? I was going to say, surely they're not using the same motor in these trucks that they're, they're using, they were using in the Dodge at, at the time, are they? No, I don't think that's the same thing. No, that's a 360 okay. anyway. So is it a 350 horsepower Cummins? I think so. Okay. I don't know how to read this whole like truck thing. He's on the Google machine. He'll let us know. Yeah. I got confused for a second. I didn't know which one was the front of the car. <laughs> <laughs> I just I saw a windshield wiper with no headlights and then headlights and no windshield wipers. I was confused. I I didn't even notice the rear windshield wiper until you said that. <laughs> this is a 49 Mercury. It is without motor. And judging by the pictures, pulled directly from a field. Yep. What's your guess on this? Oh man, dude, I got I've no I've no idea. Um it depends. Have they seen certain TV shows of people that jack up prices of cars that ain't worth nothing or not? That's my question. What, to, what would you what would you value it at? I I that's one, different for every person. One dollar, Bob. One dollar. Oh. Man, that thing is so that's got so much work that has to be done. Like you're starting from way down the line if you want to. Someone's going to be asking like five grand for it. Man, but it's a 49 Merc. You're not going to find any more of them. No, you're not. 
Bo's nailing it there. Yeah. $4,800. <laughs> 1949 Mercury other. 1949 Mercury. I have all the chrome. Cars complete. Minus motor. Two door. Run. Rolls good. Clean title. <laughs> Rolls uh, fine. Once you put air in the tires. It's a, a, a 350 Big Cam Cummins is a 14 liter. Oh, okay. Eight, 855. Good Lord. Cubic okay. Liter. Yeah, that's not a, it's not what they put in a Dodge pickup. <laughs> yeah, I'd say not. Sorry. Wow. All right, last one. This is one that will irritate John. Huh. <laughs> More home decor. This would go great with the chairs that have fenders bolted to them and a grill. Yeah. I, 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 I want you to leave for a second. 82 Cadillac barbecue grill. I want to point something What's out in this picture. You get scared because you never know what we're going to find in the background. Are you good? <laughs> so you Please. see that blue four door? You see that blue four door rig back there? Yeah, yeah. I had a dream I built one of those as a dragon drive type car last night. Oh wow! But not not rat rod Jeep, but kind of rat rod Jeep. And then I woke up and I spent half the morning searching for wrecked or four-door Jeep tubs to do that with. <laughs> a, a slight view into the mind of a gearhead. Yeah, yeah. And I'm still not off of it. It's it's here. That's nuts. Anyway, they've got 60 bucks in polyurethane for the top of the table. That's exactly what <laughs> yeah. I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> what do you That's got it at? You remember the chairs? 750. No, $1,200. $1,200. $1,200. I'll go $13. $2,200. This crazy person thinks they're going to get out of their table. <laughs> Vintage Ford front end bar top table on roller casters. Great for shop parties, patios. Yeah, I am. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to take that $2,200 and I'm going to spend that on race week and have memories I'm going to remember forever. Yeah. Instead of a <laughs> table to roll around. <laughs> I knew you guys would enjoy the table after we've. Uh... Man, how do you find that stuff? <laughs> Hey, I was talking to I was talking to Fro earlier, and he goes, "I got to be careful with the uh, marketplace deals. I can't I can't have any pictures of the midgets or one one legged people. You guys are pointing them out. <laughs> I know, one legged midget. That's what we need next. Yeah, if you could find one, that'd be handy. That's that's how that's how we're getting thrown off the internet right there. Nah, it's okay. So. That pretty much brings this show to a conclusion. Um, I know, I know, John's getting his car back together. Bo's getting his car back together. I'm doing interior work, but that's okay because I'm not going to go drag and drive anyway. I'm going nope, cruise. Go cruise all you want now. And I fully intend to by the by the by the end of this week. the 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 front half of the interior should be completely done. Cool. Then I get to play with wiring for a little bit. I think everybody in my household wants to take their own car. Nobody wants to ride in this heat. <laughs> like I said, you'll have somebody go with you for sure. Oh, yeah. I'm not worried about it. They lack class. Speaking of lacking class, I have caught up completely on what No Way Guys Chevelle. <laughs> How's that going? I. I think it's all right. I watched half of one episode the other day, and then I had to leave to go do something, probably to work on something. Yeah. Somewhere else. Yeah. He does this weird thing where he speeds up the audio and video in his videos. 
Wow. So he goes all chimp monk on us, but oh, yeah. I get it. It's because it, it'd be boring to sit and watch somebody weld on a frame forever. But the the one I watched is where he went to his dad's to get the big block. Yeah. The yeah. The <laughs> iron headed uh yeah big block that uh I think they he said it was in his race truck. I don't know what kind of truck he was yeah. racing, and they did like a a a cam and some roller tip rockers. That's the motor that's going to go nine nine seconds. seconds. No way. We're going nine seconds in this Chevelle. It's a four door hard top, isn't it? Not anymore. Did he convert it? I think he gave up on the. I to be honest. I don't pay that close of attention because sometimes I'm <laughs> under the car. But, it looked to me like he was welding up on the uh, the frame. He was boxing the frame in on the four door, and uh, next thing I know, I stand up and he's talking about how they're going to go look at this two door because it really more so fits what they're wanting to do. And he's having all this trouble getting the frame boxed in properly, and it's all this extra real estate. And I don't know. And then. Fast forward to now we're going and picking up my nine second big block out of my dad's <laughs> barn that's yeah. full of mouses. I Said, yeah, we kept it dirty to hide it from people so they didn't know what we had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Really a set of dart heads on there. We just painted them up to make them look like crappy old iron heads. <laughs> the rust is what sells it. Yeah. Well, I want to turn it back on and see what he found on them heads because it'd be comical if he pulled it apart and his race truck was on a set of peanut port. <laughs> Small gear of big block heads. All right. Enough on that, but there wasn't no way guy videos are pretty good. All right. Well, I am going to jump off here and go catch up on my what no way guy videos. If you guys got nothing else to add, and that's a no, then thank nope. you and good night. See you. Everybody love everybody.